Hey math kids, today we're going to talk about similar triangles, and so let's just jump right in. Similar triangles are two triangles that have the same angles, and there is some scale factor that, um, let's see, let's do, there's some scale factor that applies to all the sides. So what you're going to do to test, so we're, we're asked the question, are these similar? So to test it, we're going to take the 2 and the 4 because 2 is the smallest on this triangle, 4 is the smallest on this triangle. Now I like to take the larger number and divide it by the smaller, so I'm going to say 4 divided by 2, and that's equal to 2. Now I'm going to take the largest, I'm going to take the 5, let's see, let's change color so it looks better. Okay, 5 and 10, so I take 10 divided by 5, that's also 2, so these could be similar, they look like they might be. And now you take the last two, I do 8 divided by 4, that's also 2. Since all of those are the same, we say yes, it's similar. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so we look for the smallest. We got a 2 and a 4. So we take 4 divided by 2. That's equal to 2. And now we're going to take the largest. So 5 is the largest over here. 7 is the largest over here. 7 divided by 5 is just 7 fifths. Since 7 fifths and 2 are not the same number, these are not similar. Now, um, I'm going to erase this real quick. Now we're going to create a similar triangle using, let's see, i got to make that smaller. I'm going to create a similar triangle <clears throat> using, uh, starting with just one triangle. So we have a triangle. Sides are 1, 2, 3, length. And we want to use a scale factor of 3. So what that means is we're going to increase each of these by a factor of 3. So we multiply the 1 by 3, we get a 3. Multiply the 2 by 3, we get a 6. And the 3 by 3 gives us a 9. So this is 3 times large, like each side length is 3 times larger than the previous one. But it will maintain the same angles. All right, now we're going to do one where we, um, now we're going to use a scale of, let's see, actually, let me change those signs. I'm going to do two, four, six, and we're going to do a scale of one half. So I'm just going to draw my triangle, even though they look the same size. Don't trust a diagram. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut each of these in half. So the 2 becomes a 1, the 4 becomes a 2, and the 6 becomes a 3. And that's really all there is to similar triangles. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.